Those of you who have broadband cable internet will recognize this device. This is your typical DOCSIS cable modem. DOCSIS stands for Data Over, Cable Service Interface Specifications. The DOCSIS 3.1 specification supports speeds of 10 gigabit downstream and 1 gigabit upstream. The DOCSIS modem handles both incoming and outgoing data signals, including internet, video, and voice. A hub is a device that has multiple ports that accept Ethernet connections from network devices. A hub is considered not to be intelligent because it does not filter any data or have any intelligence as to where data is supposed to be sent. When a data packet arrives at one of the ports, it is copied to all other ports, so all the devices on that hub see that data packet. There are two different types of hubs. Passive and active. The difference is that a passive hub does not require power, but an active hub does require power. A switch is very similar to a hub. It's also a device that has multiple ports that accept Ethernet connections from network devices. But unlike a hub, a switch is intelligent. A switch can learn the physical addresses of the devices that are connected to it, and it stores these addresses in a table. So when a data packet is sent to a switch, it is directed only to the intended destination port. That is the major difference between a hub and a switch. So as a result, switches are far more preferred over hubs because they reduce any unnecessary traffic on the network. Bridges are used to divide a network into separate collision domains. For instance, here we have a network, and this network is segmented into two by a couple of hubs. If you notice, all the broadcast traffic from the two segments is seen by all the computers on both sides and this causes unnecessary traffic. So, that is where a bridge can be helpful. If you add a bridge to this network, it will reduce any unnecessary traffic between the two segments by filtering the data based on their MAC address. The bridge only allows data to cross over if it meets the required MAC address of the destination. Because a bridge keeps a record of all the MAC addresses of the NICs that are connected to it, it will also block all data from crossing over if it fails to meet this requirement. A router does exactly what its name implies. A router is a device that routes or forwards data from one network to another based on their IP address. When a data packet is received from the router, the router inspects the packet and determines if the packet was meant for its network or if it's meant for another network. If the router determines that the data packet is meant for its network, it receives it. But if it's not meant for its network, it sends it off to another network. So a router is essentially the gateway for a network. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate this. Here we have a private network with its router. And we will refer to this one as the red network, indicated by the red colored screens on the computers. Over here, you're going to have different data packets, indicated by their various colors, and they are going to be entering the red network's router from the internet. The router is only going to accept the red data packets because they are the only ones that are intended for this network. So, all of the other data packets, the yellows, blues, greens, etc., will be rejected by his router because they were not intended for this network. This is a very simplified illustration of how a router works. But I think you get the idea. Networking devices need electrical power to function. 
and that's why they have a separate electrical port for a power plug. But some networking devices don't have an electrical port. It is not that they don't need electrical power, it's just that they get their power and data from the same cable, which is through the Ethernet cable. This technology is known as PoE, which stands for Power Over Ethernet. A network interface card, or NIC, is used to connect a computer to a network. It is a circuit board with a network adapter that is installed on your computer. And its job is to convert incoming serial data into parallel data so that the computer can understand it. A NIC provides a constant, dedicated connection to a network. And every NIC has its own unique identifier, called a MAC address. A wireless access point is basically a wireless hub that is used by wireless devices. It connects to a wired network and relays data between the wired network and the wireless device for communication purposes. In this illustration, you see a wireless access point, wired to a network so that the wireless laptop can communicate with the network. A dial-up modem is a device that allows a computer to transmit data over normal telephone lines. The data coming in from the telephone lines is analog. However, the data in a computer is all digital. So, when the analog data comes in from the telephone lines, the modem's job is to convert it into a digital form so the computer can understand it. That is basically what a modem does. It converts analog data into digital data. And the maximum speed of most modems today is 56 kilobits per second. A patch panel is a panel that has multiple cable connections and connects incoming and outgoing patch cables in a local area network. It allows network administrators the convenience of arranging or rearranging circuits if necessary. For instance, here we have a patch panel that has several UTP patch cables attached.